After you understand a little bit about shipping by International Express and air freight, you may also want to know something about shipping by sea. And I don't really want to overwhelm you with too much information all of a sudden. So in this video, I will introduce you the most common types of sea shipping containers of dry cargo. Why do you need to know about the sea shipping containers? Have a piece of information about the sea shipping containers can help you plan the volume of the order. And when you're importing from China, you also need to know if your imported products are able to fulfill one full container or not. And it's also somehow a motivation as you start buying products for one cubic meter, and you can also dream of buying full container of them. Dry cargo is designed to carry almost any kind of dry products. General dry cargo is by far the most common type of container and is the most standard container of international transportation. It can match the specific cargo needs of any industries. In the practice, there are three sizes of dry container which are frequently used. There are 20 feet general purpose container, 40 feet general purpose container, and 40 feet high cube container. In short, there are 20 feet GP, 40 feet GP, and 40 feet HC or HQ. And the cubic volume and cargo weight are two important elements. It indicates the maximum volume and weight that the products can fit in. As you can see here that 20 feet GP has a maximum volume of 33 cubic meters and the maximum weight of 21.7 thousand kilograms. And 40 feet general purpose container has a maximum volume of 66 cubic meters and maximum weight of 26.5 thousand kilograms. And 40 feet HC has a maximum volume of 76 cubic meters and a maximum weight of 26.5 thousand kilograms. If you have especially large items to be loaded, you may need to pay attention to the internal dimensions of the container as well. Uh, so make sure your products are well packed to fit in the container. And the information here is just a guideline as the exact dimensions can differ slightly due to the different manufacturers of the containers. We have loaded many containers, and the experience told us that the cargo weight should never be more than what is stipulated, or the shipper will be fined with a certain amount of money, and the shipment could be detained in the port of export, and in return, the shipper may ask for the cost from you, the importer. And when we are loading a container, the volume of the loaded products can never reach to the maximum volume of the container because the packing cartons could be of different sizes and they cannot fit in the container perfectly. So from our experience, you'd better plan a 20 feet container for no more than 30 cubic meters and a 40 feet general purpose container for no more than 62 cubic meters and a 40 feet high cubic container for no more than 70 cubic meters. About shipping containers, the mentioned information is enough for you as an importer. And in the next video, I will bring you the further information about FCL and LCL in the sea shipping. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon.